Hello everyone, so today on our channel we will be doing part one of our beginners uh, beginners program that we are going to do. Um, I'm going to be starting with the sketch function, so we will be starting with just mainly all the sketching functions and how they can help you. Um, I will be leaving my email at in the description so if you have any questions you can either comment or email me directly and i will try to get to it uh, as soon as i can and try and make either a video or respond via email to your questions um, preferably if you can comment um, on the video then i can do a video um, concerning your exact uh, problems or concerns but for now, we'll just be starting with our normal sketch. So we are going to do a new pro, a new part. Uh, part. I'm just going to leave it as part one, or I suppose we can make it as sketch. Okay. So obviously the first thing i need to do is select my sketch function as it is here on the right hand side sketch then i need to select my datum plane so i do have a datum of preference uh, generally it's top um, depending on what i'm drawing but generally it's top or now and then it'll be the right plane but mostly um, top is usually my plane. So when we move over the plane, select, click sketch, the plane will rotate. As I've shown in my previous video, um, when you move the datum plane of your sketch and by accident or on purpose, and you would like to move back to your sketching plane, um, there's a function at the top here that says sketch orientate if you click on that it will rotate it back to its function so that's the first basic um, assisting key that you can use um, then what I like to do is because I like to draw draw all my stuff um, symmetrical as I've explained in my intro video it does make things a little bit easier um, when mirroring and so on so the first thing I would do is put in some uh, <clears throat> some center lines as you can see here's the center line function so we click on the center line function select anywhere on our vertical plane click center click again horizontal click again and as I've said before, you can do this in many directions. Um, you can give it a certain degree of angle. You can do any any angle, basically, that you might think would be helpful to you. Um, but for this one, we don't need it. So I'm just going to push Escape and then go to my Select function. So from here, we now have our symmetrical drawing plane um, so I'm going to start with just a square so I'm going to select square rectangle as I've selected click on the left hand side drag it across my center line that I've inserted and as you can see there it gives me a symmetrical symbol on the top there but what I'm going to do because in doing this, it will set it symmetrical, as you can see on the top line and the uh, on the horizontal line and the vertical line, there are arrows indicating that it is now symmetrical in all directions. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make this non-symmetrical so that you guys can see how the other functions work. So we're going to make it non-symmetrical for now, and. I am going to make a let's make it a hundred by hundred rectangle well a hundred by hundred square sorry not a rectangle ok 
Okay, so now, now that we have this function, so now that we have the sketch, obviously you have a few options to make it symmet symmetrical. You can use dimensions. So if I edit that dimension to 50, it will put it in the center. And if I enter change that to 50, it will also put it in the center. But the only problem with that is if you change the size of your square or your sketch, those will remain at 50. So if I change it to say 76 per side, then the block will be offset to the one side. Um, so I can show you this if you go, yeah, if we make this now 50, which is exactly half of 100, obviously. And we go 50 on the, the horizontal plane. Okay, horizontal line. Now it is in the center, obviously, to the last 0 0.00 of a millimeter. Okay, now, if I now select, let me show you guys. If I change this to 76 as an example, and I change this to 76, see how it is now not symmetrical again so the easiest way to do this is if you go to your functions on the right hand side here you click on the little drop down you select your symmetrical symbol you select as it says yeah on the left left hand top side this will always give you an indication of what your next step is if you are unsure so as it says here, select center line and two verticals to make them symmetrical so what we are going to do is select the center select the first and then the second side and it will do this because i have now entered a value there so i can either remove the size of the block which will then adjust the size of my actual square to make it symmetrical but then the dimensions will be out I can delete my symmetrical and it will stay like that and use the 50 millimeter diameter or as we were planning to do is we will remove the 50 millimeter dimension and it will become symmetrical as you see okay then again now I want to do same thing the same thing on the vertical line so we are going to select the center line and two verticals to make the symmetric as it indicates on the left hand top side here so what do we do we select the horizontal line we select the first one we select the second one and again it will pop up with this as you've seen in the previous section of this video so i've explained all this i'm not going to do it again but there's your dimension you want to replace with symmetry so we click delete and boom and then we say okay because we are not done with the symmetrical function now now if you look at this if i change this now to 50 or say 100 back to 100 again now it's 100 by 50 but it is exactly symmetrical okay now if i want to make this side of my block and this side of my block the exact same size so that i only have one reference dimension it is very simple all i'm going to do is i'm going back to the same function tab here hit the drop down again there will be an equal length key which should be that one equal create equal lengths okay equal radius is equal dimension so that will help you reference one line to the next line or one circle to the next circle and you only have to adjust one dimension and it will adjust all of them at the same time so we're going to select that then what we are going to do is we are going to select first you are going to select the line that you want the dimension so i'm going to select 50 because i want my block to be 50 by 50 for instance i'm going to select 50 then i'm going to select the second line that i want to be the same size as that which will be that one now it will throw out okay you want it the same but the dimensions are different so do you want equal lengths you want to get rid of the 100 millimeter di uh, dimension 
or the 50 millimeter dimension okay so obviously we said we want a 50 by 50 square so we select a hundred dimension and we say delete and boom it is now symmetrical and all of the sides are the same size so the simplest thing to do now to show you how this works is change the dimension so now if i make this 76 boom the block stays 76 by 76 if i make it 120 it will stay 120 by 120 so the the horizontal and the vertical will be the same dimension because i used my equal length tab okay now we have a few other functions here in this uh, in this menu obviously in your sketch menu so that will be your block your square those will be your symmetrical features those are the main ones i use um, if you want to do a circle you will go to circle and it will give you multiple options but your most popular one you will use is center line center and point so what we do is you click where you want the center of your circle so i am not going to select there because if i click there it will make it exactly in the center of our block but what i'm going to do is i am going to select the circle and i'm going to click slightly off center like so okay sorry i didn't show you guys how i actually did that so you're going to click and drag your circle till it's more or less how you want it if you want a tangent to that line you can do that if you want a tangent to the other lines you can stretch so it shows you the tangent function or i can just do that so i click when it's at the desired size go back to my select function now here are my dimensions so it is a 16 millimeter 16.3 so say i want to make it a 20 same as all our other dimensions double click and enter your value and boom then say i want to have it closer say 20 millimeters from the center of the block i can change the dimension simple simple as can be but now, if I do not want to reference from the center, if I would like to reference from the side, I would go to my dimension block here. I would click on the line. I would hold in control. And I would select the center of the circle. And then I would hover more or less in between the two, above, in the middle, or below, and enter and it will give me that dimension then again it's going to ask you do you want this dimension or do you want that dimension so all we do is we click on that one it will highlight it so that you know which dimension you're going to be replacing and we say delete and it will give you your new dimension okay so that is your circle and your dimensions now if you want to say we want to add a radius we're going to go to our radius function here which i'm going to click there i am going to click on the side of my circle i can click on my line i can but for reference i'm going to click on the side of the circle so we are going to click there and then what you will see once i do this then I'm going to click the other end of the radius and then it will give me the shape I desire. As I drag it, I can change the radius. And once I get it where I want it, all I do is I click again and boom. So that will be your radius function. That will be your circle function that will be your square that will be your symmetry and your equal length function um your normal line function obviously you go to your normal line we can go tangent on this one if you want to go tangent we can go center line 
and when you there it will show you tangent when it puts the t that's tangent i can go past i can go there i can go there i can go pretty much where i want obviously but if you just hover it there that'll give you tangent and that is your tangent section there now say i want to remove some of my lines the simplest would be the delete segment but now you need to be careful because that is only going to delete the piece of the line between two points as you can see there it will only highlight that section and i can remove that section or if i'm going to select my circle uh, okay the circle you can delete the circle So if I click on the circle, we will remove the circle and vice versa. So wherever there's a crossing line, either a center line, a plane, no matter what it is, if I use my segment delete, it will delete only that section of the sketch. So that is actually going to be the end of part one. Um, I will continue this in part two moving forward so i hope this helped and i hope you guys have watched up to here and if you have and it is helpful please like subscribe and comment if you would like me to help assist you with anything else please just put in the comments i will read the comments and i will respond either with the video or on the comment itself uh, worst case if you want to contact me i will leave my email address in the description and you can get a hold of me for any additional questions um, but i would prefer if you guys could do it in the comment section for me just to help boost the, the channel a little bit so thank you guys thanks for an awesome session and i'm going to save this so that we can continue from here save oh i didn't set my directory as i should have set directory i'm gonna save it in here sketch okay so then when we get to part two i shall continue thanks guys thank you very much for watching and from custom cad man i do appreciate the follows the likes and the views and again if you have any questions please hit me up in the comments and have a great evening.